Hello, Grace. Hello. Hello, you Eddie. You said we haven't met, but I feel like we've met. That's a good start. But I must have just start. seen you on YouTube. <laughs> I hope so. That would be excellent. You know, I have to say, this movie, for a film about, you know, a guy battling motor neuron disease and scientific theory, it's surprisingly sexy. Is it? This is... This is <laughs> do you know what? I, there are these photos of Stephen and Jamie when they're younger in a punt, and I've got to say that he is so effortlessly sexy and kind of cool, like, as is she, that I ended up putting fo a photo of James Dean above my trailer door because he's kind of got this kind of disheveled, couldn't care less <laughs> attitude, which, um, so I'm pleased that you found them sexy because I thought they were kind of sexy. Oh, they? definitely. And you know, there's this famous saying that behind every great man is a great woman. As you see it, what did Jane Hawking contribute to Stephen's life? Well, I think, she, oh God, I think she contributed a vast amount. Um, she, she is a formidable woman in her own right, an extraordinary brain, wonderful humour, but she looked after this man um, at a time when they couldn't afford to have care and, and she, was, she was having to deal with young children, babies, whilst also physically looking after Stephen and allowing him the freedom to go and do what he did intellectually. And, um, so, no, she's a formidable woman. With everybody, there's people who are scientifically, you know, have an affinity for science and people have an affinity for art. As an actor, I'm sure you have an affinity for art. Could you understand all of the theories you were saying? Because you sounded like you could. <laughs> this is my worst question. Uh, no, I, I, I studied history of art at, um, at university. I gave up science when I was like 14, like the biggest <laughs> acting like hurdle for me in this was trying to persuade people that I knew what I was talking about. Um, no, but I did, I tried to read everything. Um, what I could understand was a different, and I would go from like reading like incredibly complicated websites to then going back to the kind of Googling <laughs> astronomy for six year olds. You know, like, so, uh, uh, but I also met one of Stephen's old students who taught me. So it was a bit of an edu it's one of the great things about my job is you get educated in weird and wonderful parts of things you don't know about beforehand and you hope you leave with more information. Now, I don't want to jinx you, right? but you have some pretty strong buzz for this movie, which I think is deserved. Okay. Oh, that's when cool. you were making the film, could you tell everything was coming into place or were you just having your fingers crossed? You, you can never tell with film. Film? Film? With film, <laughs> you can never tell. There, no, there's something <clears throat> like the amazing thing about film is this sort of alchemy. There, there are just so many different aspects to it and, and really kind of I'm going to get all metaphorical and weird, <laughs> but the amazing thing about film is it's the meeting of science, literally cameras and the specifics of technology and lights and things with art and, and the known and the unknown. It's how those two things collide and you never know whether they're going to work and, and um, I suppose in some ways it's like Stephen and Jane. Exactly, <laughs> you know, but, that's but, um, perfect. But, but, so no, I was, but, but the expectation or the, the responsibility to tell their story truthfully and properly was huge and so I'm just so thrilled that, that, that people seem to like it. Thank you.